Nasne is a town in the Western Cape of South Africa. It is situated to the east of Cape Town and is a very popular tourist destination as it is part of the Garden Route. Some of the tourist attractions include the Nasne Elephant Park, the Garden of Eden and the Nasne Lagoon. The town has a population of 74,606 people as of 2017. In June of 2017, Nisner experienced some of the worst fires in South Africa's history, with over 28 fires reported on June 8th alone. The Western Cape government estimated that more than 136 million rand of infrastructural damage occurred in Nisner over three days, but the damage to private property extends well beyond 4 billion rand. Over the duration of the fires, it was reported that there were 1,059 houses that were completely destroyed, and houses that were just damaged reached 385. Nisner Heights was the hardest hit, with 263 houses destroyed, which is just under 20% of all the houses in the area. Followed by White Location, where 259 houses were damaged or destroyed, which was 19.2% of the dwellings in the suburb. Some of the other areas that were largely affected are Brenton on Sea, where 99 houses were affected, which is 7.3% of the total number of houses in the suburb. Eastford, where 95 houses were destroyed. Paradise, with 91 houses destroyed. Nisner CBD, with 67. And Val Bedacht, with 63. With other areas and suburbs also being affected, but on a smaller scale. With the effect of strong winds and dry pine trees around Nisner, the fire that broke began to spread wider to the other surrounding areas. With time, the fire was increasingly spreading and was getting out of control. It was travelling at a speed of 100 metres per minute along the garden route and N2 towards Port Elizabeth. During that week, the area of Nisner was declared a disaster zone until the fire was maintained and extinguished. It's a hard thing to watch houses that people have worked so hard to build being destroyed. The people of Nisner had to watch all their hard work and memories being engulfed in flames and they couldn't do anything to stop it. All that was left was ashes, with over 2,000 people being left homeless due to the intense destructive power of a two week long fire. During the fire, there were several healthcare facilities around Nisner that were affected or destroyed. Some of the hospitals that were affected are Kransuk, Kierok and Kayaletu, which are part of the primary healthcare services in Nisner. Unfortunately, there were nine people who were reported dead due to the extreme fires and there was no immediate medical attention since neighbouring medical facilities were either damaged or packed full with injured people. Among those people who died in the fire, one of them was a volunteered firefighter. What am I doing in a squash court? This was a makeshift hospital and it's literally just kind of closing down and moving back into the, uh, into the original space. And they have hospital beds in here. Um, all the equipment that you need. After two long weeks of the fire that was suspected to have started from a lightning strike, they're called peat fires. They spread slowly down the routes for several meters. Places that were once full of life were reduced to ashes. The only things that were left were the structures of buildings showing that there were once a time when people lived there. Memories that were created by the people who reside there were lost within a few minutes, as well as some of the adventurous and beautiful places of Nizna were destroyed. A lot of people were left devastated and homeless, with the once adventurous and thriving tourist attractive town having to rebuild all that was lost.